kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will be seeing a problem which is calculated on the basis of taylor's plan so there was a person called as f w taylor and he divided the uh, like distribution of wages into two categories so he made two categories one is efficient workers okay second one is inefficient workers efficient workers and inefficient workers so what happens this inefficient workers were getting 80% as the peace rate so they were getting lower peace rate and the efficient workers he told they need to get 120% of the rate that is higher peace rate so efw taylor anno nen madda ee kelsgaranna ebru reethi divide madda one is efficient workers and one more is inefficient workers for inefficient workers he told the lower peace rate should be given that is 80% next for efficient workers higher peace rate should be given that is 120% now let us see how to use this percentage in the problem the question is on the screen kindly take the screenshot of the question or at least copy the question before seeing my solution using a taylor's plan calculate the earnings of the worker from the following information normal rate per hour is rupees 12 standard time per piece is 20 minutes in a 9 hour day a worker produces 26 units a worker produces 26 units and b worker produces 30 units now what they have given for us they have given that standard rate standard rate per hour how much is the standard rate per hour it is 12 rupees and standard time for per piece standard time for per piece how much it is standard time for per piece it is 20 minutes then they have told that in 9 hour work day means in a day of 9 hours there are two workers one is a and one is b a is producing 26 units and b is producing 30 units now we need to see how to calculate this now they have given standard time per piece or the standard time per piece na kottidare we need to find out standard time per hour or a piece leg dal kottidare navu standard time per hour na calculate madbeku adike formula en anta helidre 60 minutes 60 minutes divided by standard time standard time per piece standard time per piece so il 60 minutes as it is standard time per piece as to 20 minutes so so divide madadaga namge answer 3 barutte 3 units so what is this 3 units this 3 units is a standard production per hour andre one hour ge avaru 3 units na produce maadbekagutte standard production per hour so 3 units 1 hour ge 3 units na avaru produce maadbekagutte so 1 hour ge 3 units total how many hours they are working total 9 hours so standard production per day standard production per day andre one day ke eshtu produce maadbeku anta gotagbeku andre en maadbeku ಟೋಟಲ್ ಒಂದು ದಿನದಲ್ಲಿ ನೈನ್ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಪ್ರತಿ ಅವರ್ಗೆ ಮೂರು ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಡೇ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ ಡೇ
this three units it is per hour understood so total nine hours they had we found out that for one hour he need to produce three units so for nine hours in a day he will be producing 27 units so this is a standard production means each worker need to produce this 27 units now rate per hour rate per hour how much they have given rate per hour they have given 12 rupees and per hour how many units is manufacturing he should manufacture 3 units so divide 12 by 3 so you will get rupees 4 so for each unit whatever the worker manufactures they are giving 4 rupees so one hour get 12 rupees kodtare anta helirtare one hour alli 3 units na maadbeku anta nam kandididvi so 3 units ke 12 rupees ಒನ್ ಯೂನಿಟಿಗೆ ಈಗ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಆಗ ಫೋರ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಒನ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ಗೆ ಫೋರನ್ನು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಲೋಯರ್ ಪೀಸ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಪೀಸ್ ರೇಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಟೇಲರ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೀಸ್ ರೇಟ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಲೋಯರ್ ಪೀಸ್ ರೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಹಿಯರ್ for lower piece rate it is 80% and for higher piece rate it is 120% so for higher piece rate it is 120% so here for four unit into 80% you need to do 80 and here four unit into 120% so you will get the rate so four into 80% four into 80% is 3.32 uh, rupees Three point, always take one decimal extra only. Next, 4 into 120%, you will get 4.8 rupees. So, this is the rate. So, for lower piece rate worker, this rate will be given. For higher piece rate worker, this rate will be given. Now, we need to find out the efficiency of the worker. The efficiency of the worker. now the worker a so worker a how to find the efficiency the formula to find efficiency is nothing but units produced divided by standard unit standard production sorry standard production into 100 so a how many units he has produced a has produced 26 units but he was supposed to produce 27 units because standard production is 27 units into 100 if you do that you will get 96.29% so this is the efficiency of worker a efficiency of worker a but this 96.29% is less than 100% is less than 100% so he will be given a lower piece rate lower piece rate how much is the lower piece rate here we have found out lower piece rate is 3.20 so how much units he has produced so the wages of a will be he has produced 26 units so 26 units into 3.20 so that time you will get 8 rupees 83.20 will be his wages now similarly we should do for worker b also now let us do the same thing for worker b so worker b what is the how much units he has produced he has produced 30 units but he was supposed to produce only 27 units into 100 you have to do it so he is getting 101.11% so 101.11% is more than 90% sorry 100% 100% ginna jaasti so avange higher piece rate sigutte higher piece rate sigutte now how much unit he has produced now to calculate wages of b how much unit he has produced he has produced 30 units 
into what is the higher piece rate it is 4.8 rupees so put it here 4.8 rupees so how much he will get he will get 144 rupees as the wages so hope you have understood this video very well the notes for this have put in the first comment kindly download the notes and practice well thank you if you have any queries regarding today's session kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com